Okay, so uh, welcome everybody. It's always a pleasure to talk in this uh, W2 Anmar conference, especially this uh, uh, year that uh, we have uh, this celebration of 10 years of W2. And in fact, uh, uh, today it's about uh, uh, giving value to the past and uh, uh, moving forward to the future. And so the story of Spago BI is just in this path because uh, the history of Spago BI started uh, in 2005. So even before the, uh, uh, the OW2 was, uh, was born and uh, <laughs> um, we entered, in fact, OW2 in 2007, and Spago BI was already among the uh, top three downloaded uh, uh, products from um, OW2 uh, Forge. And uh, now, uh, looking forward to the, uh, to the future and following the uh, innovation in market uh, and the technology and the maturity of uh, uh, open source solutions, we decided to have this sort of uh, revolution, as Daniele called it, <laughs> which is, uh, in, uh, by the way, uh, rebranding the uh, Spago BI as uh, uh, no age, um, of, of course, evolving its functionalities and uh, uh, adapting its uh, uh, its model. We heard this morning about uh, business models. Uh, where do we start from? Do you remember this? In 2008, I was used to use uh, this slide, which was the first time that Gartner paid attention to open source solutions in the BI domain. And uh, this is to simply to the fact that one, uh, one single analyst in Gartner were interested and curious about open source in BI. And I remember that we met him just uh, uh, the year before at uh, uh, Open Source Business Conference in San Francisco, together with Jaspersoft and Pentau, which were the other, and Actuate, which were the other actors in BI uh, open source. And in the report was written then, by 2012, uh, uh, open source uh, solution should have reached maturity, and that have been demonstrated. And by 2017, that is uh, today, uh, open source in BI would uh, become just another way to procure software. And this is what we are uh, telling today about uh, open source uh, being mainstream. This is true also, of course, in BI. But in the same time, we live in a completely different world right now compared to 10 years uh, ago. And now, um, if you look at, about, at uh, all the analysis uh, on BI market and how the, um, the, the demand for BI solutions is evolving, uh, there are some uh, aspects which, are, which we can uh, see as uh, specific differentiators. One is the involvement of business consumers in the production of uh, uh, analytical information. And uh, this is uh, the way uh, BI products and solutions are uh, evolving to answer the uh, BI users' requirements. The second one is uh, the value that is uh, given to uh, analysis, especially uh, regarding advanced analysis. This is nothing new for people who have been working in BI for years. Because also in the first version of Spago BI, there were few engines, but one of these was data mining. And now, with data scientists, uh, with big data, and so on, data mining is known by uh, all the world as a, an effective uh, value. And OK, now we have added R, we have added Python, but we are still in this kind of uh, of domain of context. The, now the market is ready, now the market is demanding, and, and so we have to, uh, to answer, to give, to provide uh, the market with the answer, to evolve, to adapt, and that's why we need to evolve uh, too, uh, together with the technology, together with the market. And so, what is the path from Spago BI to Noage? Is to uh, getting out from the technical uh, vision of a general purpose platform, adaptable, flexible to all the uh, specific contest domain and so on, which remains true, of course, but pushing and focusing also on vertical uh, solutions and addressing uh, with specific modules uh, the uh, new the specific needs so and that's why we organized the no age platform in a modular way so we have uh, 
uh, a focus on big data, where the values is, of course, in providing advanced analytics on a, a multivariate uh, source of, uh, of data, including, of course, Hadoop and NoSQL. Uh, smart intelligence, which is in order to answer that demand of data discovery from business consumers. So the, in the possibility to create uh, their own uh, cockpits and to manage their own uh, data. Uh, of course, we have uh, still enterprise reporting to address the, the, the needs of people who need to uh, have pixel-perfect reporting scheduled in, a, in the right time for the right people and so on. Location intelligence, which is extremely important in integrating business data together with uh, geographical data and to represent indicators on geographical maps. And this has been present from the first version of Spago BI 2. Uh, performance management, uh, that is how to define, uh, calculate uh, KPIs and how to associate uh, alerts uh, to KPIs in such a way to be uh, alerted when uh, some critical situations are uh, reached or, or some uh, um, good, uh, excellent performance are, re are uh, reached. And uh, then predictive analysis. Uh, this is where all the uh, results coming from the integration of advanced analytics, simulation models, forecasting models, and so on is, uh, uh, is important. And uh, all these, of course, uh, in a scenario where you can integrate uh, business intelligent features inside uh, other products uh, through an open API. Which is the scenario? Uh, as I was uh, telling, now we talk uh, generally about two different kind of uh, users that uh, are served the same way. Um, of course, with different tools and different approaches, but uh, with the same solution. The first one is uh, uh, the first one is uh, the scenario where the IT team inside the company manages consolidated data. So uh, it has the ability to take data, to organize them, and to provide consistent uh, data sets to, um, to, to, to people who need to analyze them. Uh, so they provide uh, organization of data, they provide maybe some predefined uh, analytical scenarios, but then we have, uh, we have business users, business consumers. What they do there? They, they consult data prepared by the technical team, but they also are able to add their own data because sometimes data are not available in the, uh, in the consolidated environment, in the consolidated data warehouse. They can come from open data sources, for example, using SIC and standard or uh, somewhere else. They can come from uh, um, local uh, data, personal owned uh, data and so on. And all of these data can be integrated together with the consolidated data using uh, the uh, federation mechanisms, which is new to, uh, in no age compared to uh, Spago BI, in such a way to provide a consistent solution and to share uh, data and analysis together with other users. So this is what uh, uh, Gartner calls uh, the modern uh, BI, where IT and business consumers collaborate in uh, um, creating uh, value for uh, information. All of, all of this is done through the concept of the universal data set in uh, no age. Uh, which is uh, the way to access data using uh, standard technical uh, means uh, from the IT team in order to uh, access to traditional data, SQL, but also Hadoop and NoSQL and so on using the, the uh, specific languages of these tools, but also from the end user point of view to uh, to inquiry the data using a language which is uh, close to the business language uh, in, in, such, uh, in such a way to manipulate only business entities and not technical uh, entities. And all in all to produce uh, an analysis uh, from traditional ones to advanced ones um, in such a way to not, perce not to perceive the difference uh, uh, between the two ways to access uh, the actual data sources. Okay? So, we have uh, Spago BI evolved into NoAge. We have a community edition 
where we have uh, all the, um, uh, the, um, the contributions uh, from the community. We have all the tools which are hosted by uh, OW2. It was just uh, uh, released a few days uh, ago with all the, uh, the tools for the community from the forums to the trackers and, uh, and so on. And then we have uh, the uh, enterprise uh, edition that which adds uh, uh, basically professional services to support the companies in adopting uh, uh, knowledge in uh, uh, critical projects and uh, some uh, uh, tools in order to facilitate the adoption to ease the life of administrators uh, to manage the projects. A simple, uh, uh, just to uh, give you in the, uh, in the end, because I know that my time is almost over, um, uh, to the, uh, some uh, let's say flavor or the product, consider that we have a booth in the, uh, the open area and the open space so that, so if you want to, to have uh, uh, more details, you can come in and uh, visit us. This is uh, the new environment which has been completely redesigned using AngularJS as a framework. So you can uh, use it the same way on a desktop or uh, a mobile uh, um, uh, device. We have uh, uh, interactive cockpits that is exactly the way that users build information information coming from uh, different sources. They join uh, together all this information in order to uh, provide the user with a, a really um, uh, attractive way to consult uh, information and to perform data discovery. We added a lot of new uh, charts uh, which are extremely important when we analyze uh, big data uh, because the analysis on big data is not focused on individual data but more on uh, clustered phenomena. And so we have to use a new kind of uh, uh, charts such as, for example, heat maps, uh, outliers, uh, sunburst, uh, and so on. And all these now can be uh, done with a designer uh, which is uh, totally exploited uh, on the web browser, so without any need to install the specific uh, client uh, uh, application. We still have uh, reports, we have a multidimensional uh, analysis with OLAP that can be used also in a predictive way with the simulation scenario uh, that is supported by the, uh, by the uh, what if that uh, per, uh, supports, for example, uh, scenarios of a budget definitions or uh, resource allocations and so on. We still have the integration with the GIS uh, where we added a lot of functionalities that allows uh, to use uh, the geographical system also as a selectors for performing data analysis and uh, the, uh, the KPI. And uh, that's the way also we moved to the browser, the, the creation of meta models. So we don't need any more specific client to create meta models, but everything is managed in the web, uh, in the web browser. So I thank you for, uh, for the attention. And uh, of course, uh, if you need some more details, you can come and uh, visit us. And thank you again, uh, OW2, for uh, uh, this uh, uh, opportunity.